Well, I get asked a lot on Facebook and on the bank, why do I mix different ground baits together, especially during the winter months? Well, I'm gonna run you through one of my favorite mixes at the moment. I've had great success on it in the last couple of months, catching skimmers and catching lots of roach. Now, there's three different ground baits what I use. One is worm fish meal. It's something that I've used this year. I've not really used it up to now, but I love it. I think it's absolutely great. Now, the most questions I get asked is, why do I put a silverfish ground bait, like Super Crumb Lake, in with my fish meal? Now, I'm at Harriscombe Fisheries today in Gloucester. This is a typical commercial where there's a lot of roach and there is some skimmers. Now, if I was coming here today in a match or an, on a pleasure session, I'd be thinking, right, the water is absolutely freezing. This is literally like liquid ice. We've had some really cold weather, as you can see on my breath it's probably like two or three uh, two or three degrees today so i'll be thinking to myself right i want to get some roach in me peg but i also want to give myself the chance of catching some skimmers now another good tip is when you do mix your ground baits use a tub now believe it or not a three pint container like that is a kilo of ground bait so if you put that level of ground bait that's actually a kilo <clears throat> so say i've got a two bag of F1 like that, I can get two of them in there. So it's really important. So what I'm gonna do today on this venue, because there's a lot of roach and there's a few skimmers, I'm gonna put a little bit more of the Super Crumb Lake in. So I'm just gonna open that up, like that. So I'm gonna put two of these in, like that. So I've got about another pint and a bit left there for the next session. This is, like I said, this is one of my favorite ground baits at the moment, worm fish mill. I've caught a boatload of roach and skimmers over it. So I'm gonna put one of these in, and I'm gonna put one of the black F1s in. And what I like about F1, it's got that lovely, sweet, sort of caramel taste, you know, smell to it, it's absolutely beautiful. And I'm gonna put one of them in, cool, that's lovely. That. And also, Black F1 really turns the mix dark. So if you want to turn a mix, you know, if you if you sort of look at the water when you get to the venue in the morning, you think, oh, it's not a lot of colour, it's clear. Add some Black F1 and it really does turn the mix dark. So there you go, that's two of Lake, one of Worm Fish Mill and one of Black F1. Now, say for instance, I was going to somewhere like maybe Viaduct, I go there quite a lot on surface matches. And if I draw a real good skimmer area, then I might just, and, and if the weather's a little bit warmer, say it's sort of eight, nine degrees, it's been like that for a couple of days, I'll cut the lake out completely. I'll just put worm fish meal and black F1. And I've been mixing them 50-50. So I'll put sort of two, three point containers of each mix in. So you can vary it. And once you get, you know, if you've been going to a venue and you, you go there quite a bit and you think, I just want to adjust it. If you use little containers like that, it's really, really easy. You know how much of one mix you're putting in. So it makes it easy and people don't quite get that. So if you do it like that, it's really easy. Now I'm using a drill today, but you can mix it by hand, but using a drill with a nice whisk on it, it makes it a lot, lot easier. So I'm just gonna whisk that round dry to start with. Keep your fingers out. Like that. Just get at the bottom of the bucket with your fingers. Now you can see that. You can see like it's actually not that dark, but when I put water in it, that, that dark F1 will darken it off a bit. So I'm not going to put too much in. I've got a three point container of water, I'm going to put half of that in. Mix that around again. Like that. So that's mixed round. And you see now how dark it's gone a lot darker than what it was when it was dry. So that and when I look at the water today, I think that's absolutely perfect. It's just got a little bit of a, a brown grey tinge to it. So what I would do then, that's how I want the mix, but I know that's gonna dry out. That's how I want it. So I can literally give it two squeezes and it holds together like that. And it's got that damp feel to it. Now that's gonna dry out, but what I'm gonna do. I'll get back to me peg, I'm going to put some particles in it and then I'm going to show you how to, you know, what I put in it and how I'm going to feed it.
I'm ready to go. I've made me six balls of ground bait up. Now it's quite a bit considering the conditions I'm fishing in, mega mega cold, but there's a reason for that. And I love to put a volume of ground bait in with not a lot of particles in it. I've only put a small handful of maggots and a bit of chopped worm in. Because I want those fish to come to the ground bait and pick out my hook bait. So putting quite a bit of ground bait in with not a lot of particles, believe me, works really well. So I'm going to pop my six balls in. Now that pot I got on there as well is quite important. It actually holds the ball in place so I can get out. I'm fishing 13 metres a day. I've got myself lined up with a feature on the fire bank. Now when I tip my pot up, that pot holds the ball in. So I can actually twist the pot over and it actually sort of holds the ball in place. They're great. So I'm going to put my six in. I'm going to spread them about a little bit over an area like that. So I've got a nice little area. I'm not just going to put each ball down the same hole. So they're all going to be within like two or three foot. And that's what you want to do. You want to make an area. Because when the fish come over it, you don't want them on a dinner plate. So I'm going to put this one slightly to the right. And you can vary that, you know. It's quite a deep lake, this one I'm fishing today. It's sort of seven foot deep. But if you were going to a lake which was shallow, you could even put some loose ground bait in. So you can just imagine that all going down and making a big carpet on the bottom. I might, I might put this one in just a little bit short. So I'll get to me 13 meter piece like that and just come back a foot. And so like I said, I'm just making that nice little area so when the fish come over me bait, they'll settle. And hopefully, we'll catch a load of fish. what this is. I thought it was a big roach when I first looked at it. It was actually a skimmer. So that's brilliant. Caught a couple of little roach after about 10 minutes. Seen the ground bait start activating. It just shows you the power of ground bait even on freezing cold days like today. Putting them six balls in with very little particles in and I've caught straight away. Absolutely brilliant.